Hey Stein, here at the uh, This Is Not Rocket Science booth. Lovely day for it. Yay. Yay. Amazing sunshine, yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad that it's not raining, right? Yeah. So. What are you showing us? We have our new flagship mod module for this year, the Bob and Steve Deconstructed Special Effect. It's, uh, it's like a reverb and a delay and a pitch shifter and a diffuser. Um, and if you add them all together, you get a reverb. But I thought it would be much more musical, and um, like an instrument, if you take all the bits together and you can mix and match your own reverb together. So, uh, uh, so it's DSP. It's DSP. It's, it's completely digital on the inside. It's actually based on the reverb that was built into the Phoenix. Um, but by the, by the time we ended the development of the Phoenix, we had so many ideas left for the reverb and the delay section that we didn't have enough knobs for. That we, yeah, we just made a bigger version with, with 16 knobs and a whole bunch of CVs and, uh, and extra effects. Uh, okay, so what does it do? Well, it, uh, it has a signal chain going through the module from input to output. Um, the first thing it hits is a diffuser, which is like the early reflections in most reverbs. So you go, um, I just enable the whole thing. Uh, now, give it a bit of sound. Yeah, nice metronome. Um, if I just add the diffuser, it's a very subtle effect. Yeah, it's like almost uh, early, early reflection. Yeah, and then uh, in place of the early reflections, we've added the full delay. So you can build your own early reflection pre-delay setup out of uh, out of a complete delay effect unit. Um, which can also be a waveguide. Ah, almost, almost like a. a yeah. Oh, so, uh, and, and a standard multi tap, which is less. Is that uh, was that CV controllable, like Carbola yeah. Strong? So, yeah, would yeah. it do Volt Pro Octave? Yes. Um, by the time it goes in onto the market, it will be Volt Pro Octave. I didn't have time to calibrate it for this demo. Uh, so that's the delay section. So you have a diffuser and a delay, which is um, roughly the, the early stage of the uh, of the reverb, and then it goes into a reverb tail. Um, and most uh, glossy reverbs these days have a shimmer effect, and a shimmer effect needs a pitch shifter. So if we deconstruct that thing even further, we have a separate pitch section down here, um, which we can then insert in many points in the reverb. So you, with the pitch point button, you can cycle through where where it can go. I hope it's visible on the... Yep, I so can it, see it goes either the input or it goes to the diffuser or the delay or the delay and the feedback of the delay or ju just the reverb or the output or the dry output. Um, but if I do this with this, uh, a nice tail in here, and I play the sound again. Okay. So is it a mono or a stereo input? A stereo, stereo input. input. Right, okay. um, and to make the pitch shifter a bit more interesting, we also added a chord pitch shifter. Uh, ah, the, the pitch point correct there. Oh. Interesting. And um, I don't have it set up right now, but you can control the pitch shifter with MIDI in. So you, you get polyphonic MIDI pitch shifting in, you can play chords, and your reverb tails will be that chord. Oh, or nice. somewhere else in there. That so sounds yeah. great. So that, that's, that's the rough idea. There will be more reverb tail types as well for the final that are not yet working. Um, but that will be somewhere before Christmas. We'll have it out in stores and, uh, and across the globe. And have you got any idea of the cost? Uh, I think we said something like 404. Euros. Okay. So that, that, that ballpark at least. Available from all good modular dealers. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Stein. Thank you for the interview. <laughs>